Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And again, the same thing. I know 80% of you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet. So please, please, please do subscribe my channel and help me to get 30k subscriber by the end of this month. And again, if you want to get uh, this PSD file, then it's available on my Patreon. Please check in the description list below. Uh, and we'll be exploring some brush techniques to create a simple poster in Photoshop today. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create our artboard. And for that, go to file, click on new. And I'll just go with 4x5 uh, inches, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB. And let's skip the rest as default and let's click on create. Add a rectangle. And for the rectangle, let's go for a kind of darker color, darker blue, yep, maybe something like that. And let's create a rectangle. And let's make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. And let's change the color to kind of darker red, something like that. And let's drag, Alt and drag to make a copy and let's keep it on this side. Now let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here. Create a layer max, go to brush. And I'm going to use uh, this water color splatter brush. And if you want to download the same brush pack, please check on the description list below. And let's go with kind of let's go with this one maybe yep and let's get some of these parts back now let's select this three rectangle and let's keep it inside a group so for that press ctrl g then create a new layer uh, let's go with kind of white color and let's right click and create clipping max and let's add some of these textures. After that, select a group and create a layer max. Then go to the brush and using the same brush, make sure the color is black and then just edit some of these parts. Or maybe let's do some rotation. Uh, let's keep it uh, like that for now and then select uh, the main image go to filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and from here let's increase texture let's increase the clarity let's drop down highlights all the way to minus 100 uh, let's increase the shadow just like so and from the saturation tab let's drop down the saturation to minus 100 and maybe let's increase the exposure just a little bit yep something like that and let's click on ok uh, now let's drag and drop this image right over here Control t let's make it a little smaller maybe like this size and let's keep it right over here and then let's create a new layer go to brush and just using the same brush with a darker color let's add a spot right over here and let's keep it under this layer Control t and let's squeeze it and let's keep it maybe somewhere around here yep just like so and let's create a one more layer and right click create clipping max and let's go with a general soft brush and let's add kind of shadows right over here let's keep it like that for now and let's select this layer go to filter let's apply a camera raw filter you know let's go to the skates tab and let's apply a half tone pattern and maybe increase the size yep maybe around I think two looks good to me and it's Let's keep the contrast as one and let's click on OK. 
maybe you know what let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep let's keep it like that and then now let's create a color balance and from here let's increase the greens just a little touch and maybe increase the blues too and let's drop down the red a little bit yep let's keep it like that and let's add a curve increase the shadows just like so and then let's add a text right over here and let's change the font to this one and let's change it to white and then let's add one more text and let's change the font to kind of signature font let's use this one control G let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right over here and let's move it a little down and let's change the font text color to kind of darker color yep just like so and let's go to the very bottom add a new layer go to brush same a watercolor brush and let's change the color to kind of darker color and add some patch it just to give a texture and let's drop down the opacity maybe right around here yeah something like that and then let's drag and drop this logo right over here maybe uh, let's keep it on the very top Control t let's make it a little smaller let's keep it just right around here and then let's merge everything Control shift alt and e and let's make a one more copy Control j and let's go to the filter and let's apply a filter gallery from here let's go to the distort tab and let's apply a diffuse glow let's increase the grayness a little more yep maybe something like that and maybe glow amount to like that and let's create a layer max let's fill it with black so for that press alt and backspace and go to brush and let's go with a general soft brush and make sure the color is white and let's reveal those effect on some edges right around here maybe write some over here too and so let's give a final touch up so add this space paper texture and let's keep it all the way to the top let's change it to multiply control t let's make it smaller so this is the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye